still attacked for shifting liberal votes away from Al Gore in 2000. Just doesn't get any closer than this. But for many of these double haters, they want to have the choice to vote with their heart. Could you see yourself voting for a third party in this election? Absolutely, I could. Shaquille Brewster, NBC News, Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. All right, in your community news, if you're a pet lover, well, you might want to take a listen to this. Danielle this morning has got a fun event for us to check out this weekend. So what's what's this about, Danielle? Uh, look, I know you're a pet owner, and yes, so is Jessica. Yep. So am I. That means we're going to this. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you don't even know what it is yet. No, I'm just ready. <laughs> it involves my pet, and he needs something to do, so uh, yeah. Let's, look, let's Jeremiah, I love your enthusiasm. You're always down. I'm so excited about that. Look, this is a really cool pet-friendly market, okay? It is our chance to take our pets out for a great time. Really give them a little bit of extra love, our dogs and our cats. Now, look, we're talking half off of your first drink as a hardworking pet parent. I see Jessica really enjoys that idea. <laughs> Plus, a chance to support the No Kill RGB Coalition Community Clinic. Now, the event is going to be hosted by uh, their team as well as the Harlingen Humane Society, and that means that we're going to be able to lend a hand in their year-round mission of aiding pets in need and providing them uh, with forever homes just by attending. And if you don't happen to be pet parents like me, Jeremiah, Jessica, no worries. There will be a special chance to get in on a fun dog adoption part of the event. It's going to be happening from 6 to 9 in the evening. Now, it is all going down this Sunday, my friends. You're even going to get the opportunity to get a gift card from the venue and participating food trucks on site. Yum. All dogs must be on a leash. Just a friendly reminder. And if you do have a cat, make sure they're in a carrier. But other than that, you don't have to worry about a thing, okay? Other than bringing your four-legged family member out and having a great time to the sound of delicious, delicious, uh, you know, uh, well, the sounds of music, actually, delicious food, local bands in the form of live musical entertainment, and plenty of overall family-friendly weekend fun. Again, it is happening this Sunday, and the furry festivities are going to be going down at 1811 West Jefferson Avenue in Harlingen. So be sure to check it out for a great time and fur a great cause, of ah, course. See what you did there. Thank you. Well, Jeremiah, I was hoping someone did. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it sounds like this is going to be a party. <gasps> oh. I love this. It sounds pretty perfect. Oh, <laughs> guys, this yeah. is what happens when the team is back yeah, together. It's endless again. of possibilities. <laughs> You guys are great. I love it. Yeah. Th this means we're for sure going. I already told you. I, yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> very intrigued in stuff like this. I mean, uh, we always say this. It's for oh, a great yeah. cause. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pets are very close to all of our hearts. I Absolutely. mean, I know that I rescued my dog from a shelter here. You mm -hmm. rescued yours. In uh, Corpus Christi. From a shelter. Mm -hmm. So w we love stuff like that. And just like Danielle said, if you don't have a pet but yeah. you're interested, you can still attend <laughs> yeah. and uh, find a way to help out or adopt or maybe foster or, you know, th yeah. there's so many options. And what's really cool is that you can also meet other pet owners and you can also see like what works with them such as like you know their fur or you know whatever mm -hmm. helps maintain like good breath anything right. so anything. it's always good to get uh, a perspective from other pet parents especially yeah. here across doggy the dates doggy dates <laughs> oh. yeah. and did I hear First you drink? did notice oh. that I said that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, guys, and also food trucks are going to be on site, so yeah. that's yes. so cool. And like I said, if you're lucky, you may get some gift cards for some free food. So oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some of those food trucks might have some pet friendly food, I would oh, maybe, maybe like bones little bones pup cups or, yeah. and bowls. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying that's for sure, I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and, and my dog, my dog Butter, he loves going to get Aww. special special treats, yeah. special whipped cream, stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to look into that. All right, sounds Aww, good. Danielle, that. thank you so much. Always. <laughs> and over in the city of Alton, they are asking residents to participate in an online survey to help with education needs for the community. The city leaders, they are exploring the possibility of bringing free GED classes and other certificate courses from South Texas College. The survey takes about two minutes to fill out. If you would like more information, you can call Alton City Hall. Well, coming up, tensions are rising with the U.S. and Israel's prime minister who's reacting to Senator Chuck Schumer's speech. We'll have that after the break. And of course, going to have a forecast for you. Uh, looking at around 66 degrees for first bell today after school. Uh, look at that, same temperature. Guys, we're not going to see a huge variation in our temperatures today. We're going to stick to the upper 60s, low 70s at best. And yes, we do have rain chances. We could see a thunderstorm here or there, but honestly, it's 